when we were looking at estimations, we ballparked how many square feet is there in a square meter. We ballparked it at 10. If we want to be precise though, we need to do a dimensional analysis as we did before. Um, and we can do this going from square meters to square feet using that one new unit conversion equivalency that I gave you, that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So let's say we have a PV array, which happens to take up five square meters. We've got five square meters of photovoltaic array on the roof. We want to know how many square feet is that going to consume on the roof. So what do we have to start with? Five square meters. So I put up what I have to start with, five meters squared, put that over one, I haven't changed it. Now, to take advantage of my unit conversion equivalency of centimeters and inches, I need to change my meters to centimeters. However, remember, this is a square unit, so a meter squared is a meter times a meter. Centimeters squared are centimeters times centimeters. Feet squared are feet times feet. Keep that point in mind. So we want to get our meters squared down to centimeters squared. Here's how we're going to do it. We know we have meters on the top. We want meters on the bottom. So I'm going to say that one meter equals 100 centimeters. Here's what's going to happen. When these things cancel, because this is a meter times a meter, that meter is going to get rid of the square. I still have a meter left, so I have to do it one more time. So over here I do the same thing again. I go one meter equals 100 centimeters. So now this meter cancels the rest of that meter, and now I'm down to centimeters times centimeters, which is guess what? Centimeters squared. Now I want to get from my centimeters squared to my inches squared. Here we go. i got centimeters on the top. I need to put centimeters on the bottom. I know that 2.54 centimeters equals 1 inch. And again, I know that 2.54 centimeters equals 1 inch. So now my centimeter here cancels my centimeter there, that centimeter cancels that centimeter, and I end up with inches times inches, which is, guess what, square inches. Now that we have square inches, a lot of us already know, I could go through this another couple of steps, but a lot of us already know that there are 144 square inches in a square foot. Let's use that commonly memorized imperial unit conversion equivalency in this country. And let's say that there are 144 square inches before when we estimated one meter squared was approximately 10 square feet. We'll check ourselves. Five meters squared better be in the ballpark of 50 some square feet. We should be in the ballpark here. So let's see how we come out. Calculator clear. Multiplying across the top, I've got 5 times 100 times 100, and I don't have to multiply by 1 by 1 by 1. Now I can divide, divided by 2.54, divided by 2.54, divided by 144 equals 53.81 square feet. So I end up with 53.81 square feet. Very close to what our ballpark estimate was, but now much more precise than what we had before. Simple dimensional analysis, another one using just the new unit conversion equivalency we had to memorize, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. We've applied that now to wind speed, we've applied it to square unit measure, you could even apply this to volume.